Let's go to Scott. He's a West Ham fan, right, Scott? Oh. <laughs> Amazing. But wait on the line, get the chance, and then bottle it. All right, let's go to Adam. He's a West Ham fan, right, Ad? Evening, chap. You OK? I'm all right, Ad. How are you feeling? You needed that result tonight, and you got one. Yeah, just a bit, just a bit. Yeah, it was a bit of a... Um, the second half was a little bit nervy, but it was nice to start on the front foot. Obviously, Brentford are good... Uh, good side, I feel. I don't even know they're done this year. I still think they're a good side. Thomas Frank's got them playing good football. Mm. Um, Bowen gets his hat trick, which is, I think he's now the top scorer in the Prem, which is good. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say before going on to the game, it's the first time I could take that over to the ground tonight because he just got, uh, finished his prostate treatment for his prostate Excellent. cancer. Oh, amazing. So, yeah, it was good to get that over there tonight. Um, good. Yeah, with us now. Um, but yeah, no, all in all, it was it was good to get back on. It hasn't been great at this. This year, 2024, um, in the league. Yeah, and, but, and here's, here's a question for you. Do, you. do you think David Moyes is a little bit a victim of his own success at the football club? Yeah, I think like that's what I'm saying. When we're not getting results, everyone's on his back. You have to remember what he has done done for the club as well. You wouldn't have said when he first came in, we would have won a trophy and got in Europe the last two or three years. So you have to take your hat off for that. But... Um, yeah, no, uh, he has done a good job with us, hasn't he? Uh, do you, are you Moyes in or Moyes out? Because, you know, there's, yeah, not, there's not many uh, West Ham fans that have phoned up today because normally when, when West Ham put a poor performance or result, it, we, we've got you know, hundreds of them trying to get through, but there is, there is none at yeah. the moment. No, I have been Moyes in, for this, even though right. uh, we was going through the, uh, the sticky patch. I'm still a little bit... And the thing why I do say that as well is who else is there out there to be able to get in? Because he, uh, even though we don't play the most attractive football, we're always quite hard to beat um, and we'll score goals. But, yeah, I don't think there's going to be anyone out there that can do what he's doing at the moment. Well, what about Graham Potter? I did actually... People were saying that, actually, when 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 we was going through this little this sticky patch, I was going, could, could Potter be the job? But... He's done a great job at Brighton, didn't he? So I think he could be a replacement. But I still am not, I'm not, not convinced with uh, when Moyes come out the other week and said um, about does he want to carry on. He said, oh, we'll, we'll see at the end of the season. I'm not sure if he will carry on at the end of this season. Just, well, his choice, I don't you know. mean, His choice. He ain't leaving. Yeah, well, yeah, the, uh, the, the club have sort of put it, on the, put it on the table for him to sign it. And he said, oh, we'll sort of see who, if it's best for me at the end of the right. season, best for the club. So I'm not sure. Mm, it'll be interesting. I think it'd be mad to walk away from from West Ham. But um, Ad, a thanks for your call. Let's go to Scotty. We've got him back. The West Ham fan, All right, Scotty? Yeah. Good evening, Scott. Jamie. Good evening, guys. You're right. Yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah. Well, Cundy's having a bad night at the office, but um, yeah. Uh, no, no, I can't. Do you know what? First of all, I'm not going to say the mick out of you, uh, uh, yeah, Jason, for that. Yeah. Because, no, no. Honestly, and I'm not. I'm genuinely not because your manager and like the two the two managers yesterday. This is my reason behind wanting Moyes out first and foremost. Okay. I see an interview with him um, that was done like a like like fans Q and A thing from a mobile company where you buy a chip outside of a train station, right? And he turned around and he said about that um, he can't see, doesn't see. He's, he's given sixteen year old players their debuts before, but he doesn't see it like that anymore. With players, they've got to be more 20, 21, 22 before they break through. Oh come on! There's a lot of questions to be answered on that. We you see the youngsters that have come through now. I mean, you've got that Miley at Newcastle. Jurgen Klopp has got that kind of... Is it Conor Bradley, the, the right yeah, back, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, He's got him to go in and play like Trent Alexander-Arnold. Yeah, he right. said, like, they're trained to play that way. The only thing with David Moyes, and look, don't be wrong, we've had a cracking performance tonight, but you take three players out of our team and we're knackered. <laughs> we're done. And it's because we don't... It's, you know, he doesn't use a squad of 20 players. He, doesn't, he, he uses 14 at max. So you so you want him out for what reason? Because he's not giving the youth team players a chance, is that? Because he's not because he's because offensively what he's doing is all he all he can do is but he's a one trick pony in the sense where he, he wins football matches with the team when it's at their best and I, and like all teams should do if you know what I mean, but to, he, the fact that he can he's refusing to recognise a team last year that won the FA Youth Cup that's got all the plaudits that they did for the, how they played in in, in uh, back that last year. None of those players can come in and play the last 15, 20 minutes when Bowen is looking tired, Kudos is looking tired. Why can't they come on and do a job? He's not going to... You saw the way the game ended tonight, right? Now, even yeah, though it was 4-2, those last yeah. 10 minutes or so, actually, Brentford had a go. And Ariella made some good saves. Did, yeah. I know, but you're not going to bring on a 16, 17, 18-year-old no, no, just, no. just to give him minutes. You've got to be winning no, no, that no, no, game. No, no, no. Well, well, no, Jason, Jason, I'm not saying about giving him minutes. I'm not saying about that. 
I'm not saying bring, giving him minutes. They should be integrated a lot earlier than this, is what I'm saying. Yeah, but they've got to be good enough. They've got to be good he, enough. He's, whenever he's, whenever, Just whenever say whenever won the youth cup, changes, Scott. Right, no, wait, wait one sec. Whenever he's made changes, substitutions, to try and affect and win a game, mm. they've very rarely happened. Right? Very rarely happened. Because he uses the same 11 all the time. And and then then players. If you look at if you look at the stats of us, we've had the least amount of changes. I think in. Uh, but what, 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 I don't understand what, why that should be beef. Because because Quinn Bean is simply whenever he whenever we get to a point of look that last ten minutes there, you don't the, the reason why we were getting overrun is because the players were tired. Jace, they were. You're not, but you're not. You're not. And, what I'm saying is, you're not going to put a kid on. And, you know, what, okay, what if you've got a season pro on the bench and he sees him pro? Exactly, that, that's my point, exactly. The, the, a 4 0 to Ben Rama, any one of those, if they was on the bench, if they come on, yeah. they were not, because they weren't being used enough, they were playing terribly. You know, like, you know, we went out to we went out to Bristol City in the FA Cup, <clears> and, you know, or, or Liverpool in the, in the, the Carling Cup, yeah. five mm. hours. Just the changes are too many. That's what, Jace, listen, well, that's what, all I'm saying, yeah, is your, your two managers yesterday, well, in Liverpool's manager yesterday, Kwanzaa can play like Van Dyke, Kellerka can play like Alisson, Bradley can play, because they are young players. They come in and they're coached in the right way to be integrated and involved in a team. That's not happening at a lot of clubs. I want to see that happen at West Ham, and I don't see David Moyes being a man to do it because, he, he's, because of his statement the other day. And what's that say to any of the kids that are at the team at the moment? That's that, that's what and, and that honestly, and I will be oh, perfectly honest. I, just... I wanted him to I wanted him, him to leave after Prague and go out on a high, right? Go out on that high. Yeah, I'll get, as someone has said earlier on, is it, I think you asked a question. Has he been a victim of his own? You wanna, so you, you want to sack him because he's not playing no, the youth? No, you want to you want to no, youth team players to play? I, I mean, I don't want him out. I don't want him out two tonight against a decent I, Brentford side. I don't want him out tonight, but I do want him to go by the end of the season. And I want us to bring in a manager that will sit there and be able to utilise a squad of players rather than flogging 14 players, which is what we do. It's all like, they're all shattered. Maybe, all maybe he feels those other players aren't quite capable. I mean, and, that, and that, okay, that, and that, that, that is fair enough. That is absolutely fair enough. But if you're a better coach, you can coach those players to be better. That's, 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 that's look. I'm not being. I'm not trying to be horrible or spiteful to him at all. I've had one of the best nights of my life. So you've been Scott. nasty, Scott. Nasty Scott. We're going to change your name to. <laughs> I'm not being nasty. <laughs> horrible not being nasty. Scott. I had, a, I had a great time in Prague. Gave me one of the best nights of my life with my son. But I just. I'm, it's, it's but you want him gone. You want him yeah, gone. I, I, <laughs> do you know what? Right, honestly, it's, so, it's you want you, you want a man you want a manager. So at the moment, you guys, you've just with big win, big win. You're you're eighth. All right, yeah. you're eighth. You're sitting only, on the you're same only, points. You're only, you're only four points behind us, Jay. Yeah, no, and and no forget us. I know oh, we'll stay there. Forget. But what I'm saying is, you're only, you're on the same amount of points as Brighton and Deserby is getting all sorts of applauds at the moment, right? Yes. Okay, he plays a different brand of football. Right. Be on the same amount of points as him, Scotty. Listen, horrible listen, Scott. But, all right, okay. So yeah, so horrible Scott. We'll take the Zerbi. We'll take Pot. We'll take all of those yeah. because what they do is look at look at him. Look at the Zerbi. He gets pulled. It's because a player can go. Be in the same amount of points. You know, do you know, but you. You're eight. No, but it's, but it's, listen, right, okay. Horrible, right, Scott. Jason, you're eight. Jason, Jason, do you know what you lost yesterday? So take that. <laughs> Can't stand you, like. Horrible, Scott. Well done. <laughs> he said he was not going to take the mic out of you. Horrible, Scott. Is he, he going to? He put, the, he put the phone down. He put the phone down. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, oh, Scott. Oh, you got into him. Oh, amazing, Scott. Thanks for that. Uh, we asked for a violinist, right, to serenade Cundy after the loss. And guess what? No. Someone has just voice noted us on WhatsApp doing just that. Hi, I'm Ellie and I'm a Liverpool fan and I have a message for Jason Cundy. <laughs> What is going on? What is going on? What is happening here? What's going on? Seriously? Uh, a, this is a wind-up. Is this is a wind-up. He's walking out. <laughs> He's walked out. It's amazing. Keep your calls coming in. 
We'll try and get him back. 0317 double two double three double four.